Here I have an example of a game that has more than one level. This game is very simple, nothing too complicated. I just hold the right arrow to make the cat move to the right. He's going to head towards the exit and get to the next level. As soon as he hits it, he broadcasts a message. Watch what happens. The level changes. The cat moves to a new location. The door disappears. The background changes. We have a new item on the screen. All kinds of stuff is different now. Now the cat needs to fly over these spikes and get the bag of money to win the game. Pretty tricky, isn't it? There we have our win screen. Let's have a look at the code now and see how this works. So here's the code for this game, and this code's a bit more complicated than programs we've done in the past. So to help you out with this, I'm going to leave a copy of this in your Dropbox folder. Just go ahead and look in there about the same time this video comes out, and you should see a copy in there. Let's go over it piece by piece. First of all, here's the cat sprite. And the cat sprite has five different scripts in it. We'll go over the easy ones first, and then we'll look at the more complicated ones. Down here on the bottom is a real basic movement script that just looks for the right arrow key on the keyboard. Whenever it's pressed, we move 10 steps to the right. There's no other direction in this game. It's just, you know, only to the right. No up, no down, no left. Just very, very simple. This would not be good for a complete game. It's only uh, for this demo here. The next part is this big script right here with the green flag on it. And this looks a bit complicated, but if you take it apart piece by piece, it's not too bad. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to show the cat. Now the cat might already be visible, but just in case, I'm going to show him so I know that he's visible. Once I've shown the cat, I'm going to broadcast the message level 1. And you'll see this message all throughout the script. In fact, even the cat itself receives level 1, and that's how he knows to go to the starting position in the lower left corner. Once he's broadcast level 1, he's going to wait until he's touching the door. The door is the sprite over here on the right hand side of this level. Once the cat touches the door, he moves on to the next step and broadcasts level 2. Once again, level 2 will appear all across the script and even the cat will receive it. This is how he knows to go to his new position at the top left of the screen. Once he's broadcast level 2 and gotten the next level set up, he will again wait until he touches the next objective, which is the pot of money. Once he hits that, he'll broadcast the final message, you win, and then again you'll see that throughout the script, including in the cat where he hides. And the, and the you win message is how we end the game and show the win screen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other sprites and how they respond to these messages. Here's the door. Now the door only appears on level 1. We don't want it to show up anywhere else in the game. When the green flag is clicked, we hide the door. But, since the cat broadcasts level 1 almost immediately, we go on to this next step here and receive that level 1 message and show the door. So the door listens for that level 1 message and knows when to start itself up and shows. Once the cat gets to the door, He'll broadcast level 2. That's the end of level 1, beginning of level 2. The door also listens for that level 2 message and knows to hide itself at that point. So when the door receives level 2, it hides. When he receives level 1, he shows up because he belongs in that level. When he receives the next level, he hides because he does not belong there. The money is kind of the opposite of that. The money belongs only on level 2. So in the money sprite, when the green flag is clicked, we're going to hide it. It does not belong at the beginning of the game. Now, I don't need to worry about level 1 because it's already going to be hidden from the start. I only need to worry about when it should show up. So when I receive the level 2 message, I'll show the money pot. And that'll make it show up at the right spot. The stage also has some code this time. And it's listening for level 1 and level 2. When it hears level 1 at the beginning of the game, it switches to the background 1 background, which is this one right here. A simple line going slightly uphill. This is where I place the cat and the door in level 1. When the background receives the level 2 message, it'll switch to background 2, which is the second level. 
that gives me the nice platform with the spikes in it in the pit where I place the cat on one side and the money pot on the other. So the background just listens for level 1 to show the right screen and listens for level 2 to show the right screen and it, that's about all there is to that. It's pretty straightforward. Finally there's the wind screen which I just made as a large sprite that covers most of the screen. It'll hide when the green flag is clicked and it'll wait for that you win message to appear. When you win appears, it'll show up. That's all there is to that. So like I said, it looks complicated, but it's really not. It's just a matter of something being in charge of what level we're on and broadcasting the appropriate message as we go through. 